Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. Sparta Rotterdam clearly aren't looking comfortable on the ball at the moment. Predictability has just crept into their play. Goes for goal! Defending of the desperate variety. Sonny! He's done very well to get to that. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. And it's hoisted clear. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out-muscled. Hits one! Oh, another save. But well, believe me when I tell you that goalkeepers work harder than anyone else in training. And there's the end of the first half. So the other team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. But still goals. So we reach the halfway point. What an end to the half, Peter. Uh, a lot of the best action of the half coming at, at the very end. And I get the feeling the second half may well start in, in similar fashion, as we'd love to see this momentum maintained. So I'm looking forward to what's to come. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil nil. Already up and running for the second half. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. One good cross, maybe the last chance. Sonny! And that was the final act of the game, a nearly game until the very end. And it finishes. Nil nil. Well, it looked nil nil from a fair way out. Little craft or guile or penetration. Defense is largely untroubled. It's goals. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Well, neither side could get over the line here. Perhaps one team might be happier, but at the final reckoning, it's honours even and no complaints. <laughs>
So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. Well, a quick look at the opposition and results really have not been good for them at all just recently. They haven't won at all in the last three. Testing times lie ahead, Peter. The problem is that it's hard to draw on any positive at the moment. Big chance! He's delivered all right! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Up towards the front line. Tries to get it forward quickly. Quick pull forward, questions were asked, but he's given the answers, goes long, he's picked him out, gets on the end of it, has a goal! Oh, the ball's come loose! Oh, he's really drilled it! That intervention was very necessary. And the referee brings the first half to a close. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. What did we learn from the first 45 minutes? Yes, they're behind, but it's a, a reversible situation. As long as better defensive focus can, can avoid a second goal on the counter, they know they have the wherewithal to come up with what they need. Leading 1-0 at the break. Lays it out to the flank. He's got away. Sade. Plays it out to the wing. Oh, hits one! It's there! And this is getting better and better. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. So that's two now without reply. That second goal has such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well played, he saw that coming. Tries to get it forward quickly. the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition it already has actually yeah and getting on the scores Sonny! again let me mention what a wonderful stop the goalkeeper pulled off there really wonderful
and the referee brings it to a close. A decent win via a very competent performance. Without doubt, they were the better side, and the result reflects as much. Your final thoughts, Jim? Yeah, they had a game plan which was about hammering away in central positions, and it paid off. For me, they were persistent and ruthless. Well, thanks for your company, Jim, and a very good day to you. Welcome to you for this evening's game. Regrettably, the weather has been extremely unkind to us here. It is wet and blustery and remarkably inhospitable. Despite all of that, it is good to see that the faithful from both sides have apparently been undeterred. We have a terrific turnout here. The atmosphere is bubbling despite these adverse conditions. All we need now is for the game to live up to its initial billing. This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Play towards the front men. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Chuck going for goal. His position was perfect, the invitation was there for him, and his response absolutely clinical. Well, to his credit, he managed to ghost into space to, to finish things off, but the failure to spot him was, was ghastly defence. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. And that's been levered clear. Forward it goes. And the shot! 
very speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. And the half-time whistle goes. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The great three did indeed come in the first half. And there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Leading 1-0 at the break. So we're already into the second period. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Delivers a cross. Zvola have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. There's a long ball. And the shot! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Either way, the margins were tiny, just a goal in it, and that was enough. Your reflections then, Jim? Well, to me, this is a result, Peter, that says an awful lot more than the scoreline suggests. You know, after the goal, the team just settled down and, and looked surprisingly comfortable and didn't really need to work too hard. That's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all. everybody to a part of the world where football really matters there is a healthy tension great expectation building in the lead up to kickoff here a little bit grey overhead and indeed the forecast is for a drop or two of rain as the day grows older but regardless of that there is a lovely backdrop here the ambience is good smashing noise from both sets of supporters and expectations high in both camps This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Uh, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Tries to get it forward quickly. He's there to receive. Sonny! He's done very well to get to that. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. (laughs) 
Tries to dink it in. And the first 45 minutes are up. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. And we are up to the break. What an end to the half, Peter. Uh, a lot of the best action of the half coming at, at the very end. And I get the feeling the second half may well start in, in similar fashion, as we'd love to see this momentum maintained. So I'm looking forward to what's to come. So they head in no further forward. The score here still nil-nil. Here's the start of the second half. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. Gets up to head it! Oh, that's incredible! And that's got to be it! That has got to be it! A wonderful delivery, and all it needed was a touch. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Made towards the front men. Tries to get it forward quickly. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. He's made sure that that won't get through. We are into overtime. Gets the better of his man. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it. And that was enough. So a dramatic game decided in its very last moments. Well, this looked like it had a, a draw written all over it, Peter, so credit where it's due. They found a way to win it, and they could take great satisfaction from uh, never losing that focus. So we've reached the end of our coverage. For
we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path. Chip through. Could try cutting inside here. Oh, that's a fine challenge. And he's there to hoof it away. Turns and goes back. Sonny! Deflection may or may not have made a difference. Little matter, it is his. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. was a given it always was yeah i really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was it took the defense out of the equation for that split moment and the damage was all done so that's two now without reply the turning of the screw comes to mind peter they've got them where they want them Goes for goal! Oh, he's in! Another chance! And more, and more, and more! And the lead is extended still further. What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. And it's played forward. Cuts it out. Forward pass. Sade. He's found his man. There is the half-time whistle. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes, but one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but packed 
and excitement. Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Really has been an astonishing game, peppered with goals. You cannot help feeling that the second half will supply more. Already up and running for the second half. And the defence can get it clear. Forward it goes. And there goes the final whistle. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. Let me look back on the game then, Jim. Yeah, they had a game plan which was about hammering away in central positions, and it paid off. For me, they were persistent and ruthless. That's it for today. Thank you, Jim, and goodbye. time of Teo night it is with you welcome along to a game which is threatened I have to tell you by a rather forbidding weather forecast the expectation is for quite heavy rain as the game grows older this evening it hasn't arrived just yet but it will do shortly glad to report though that that hasn't affected the crowd who are here in good number and indeed in good voice and the game will be underway very soon This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it, and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. And already we're underway here. Good try cutting inside here. Danger averted for now. Willem Tway are having to deal not just with their opponents but also with a congested fixture list. It's at times like this when depth of resources becomes so important. And it's a time when the squad is called upon to help keep everything ticking over. That's why we see the bigger squads these days for weeks like this. Chance! He's delivered all right! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled.
Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Done very well to intervene. The first 45 minutes are up. It's the first half compared with your expectation. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? A half of massive entertainment and excitement. A two-goal margin, yes, but all things still possible. They were already into the second period. No changes at half-time that we're aware of. No, no way through there. Now, can he capitalise? And the finish! They are rampant! And surely that settles it! He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Plenty waiting in the middle. And the ball's come out. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. He's left his man. He's pinged one through here. Gets shot at goal. Oh, taken with style. Surely now they are well and truly out of sight. The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. It's become a case of men against boys. And it's played forward. Will and Tway uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of... of oh, that is asking! Has a hit! Really well taken goal. And still they continue with the onslaught. Well, I wasn't expecting them to go this big, Peter, but they have been superb. He's made it three. Quite a day at the office for him. Well, he's been the outstanding player on the pitch and devastating in front of the goal. What a display. What a player. Changes here from both sides, in fact. Things looking so easy, almost too easy here. Looks to bypass the midfield. Uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Hoists it forward. And the referee brings it to a close. A great day for attacking football. The artists have painted their pretty pictures. Only one team in it. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? 
Yeah, they had a game plan which was about hammering away in central positions, and it paid off. For me, they were persistent and ruthless. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening. Well, good afternoon to you. Things had been building up very nicely over the last couple of days in the lead-up to this game, but as you can see, the last couple of hours are a rather different story. The weather has decided not to play ball. The conditions here are a long way from ideal. It is teeming with rain, and that has left both teams contemplating very different challenges. It's almost old-style. Understandable looks of concern on the faces of managers, officials, players and fans alike. Goes direct to the front line. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Oh, terrible pass. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Sonny! It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. They're just lacking a cutting edge, Peter, and while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. Tries to get it clear. He's had a goal! And it's a goal! Lovely goal, perfect poise to set himself for the strike. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Ball's loose, who's getting there? goes so there you have it a close sport half of football but it still had its moments and ultimately produced just one goal a more than decent game up to now i'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline they'll definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job leading one nil at the break and we are underway again 
Well, one nil may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Looks to clip it forward. And it's hoisted clear. So, Jim, what are you thinking? I think the manager's pondering his options as to whether to stick or twist Peter in view of, of the time remaining. He might have a... He's gone for it! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. So that's two now without reply. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Surely this is the last chance now. Time to deliver. Plenty waiting in the middle. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. So they bask in their win, and a genuinely professional performance, and the result, which is well deserved. No reflections then, Jim. I think it's all about setting the right tone at the start of a match, and if you can back that up with an early goal, it just energises everybody, the whole performance, and I think they were certainly more fluid as a result of the early goal. So that's it for today. Thank you, Jim. Good afternoon all.